yeah, it's pretty good. All right, all right, all right. <clears throat> In today's episode of Random Tackle Review, that's right, we're back with these. I haven't given up on this series. It's just been a while since I've been trying to find something really worth uh, reviewing. And believe it or not, I have a, a rod and reel combo that people will be surprised that I'm going to review next. It's, uh, well, I'm not going to spoil it. But on this episode of Cast and Destroy Random Tackle Review, we're doing the Bubba Blade. This is the 7 inch knife. Now, <clears throat> it was given to me for Christmas for my brother. Thank you, Benjamin. I'm not going to go ahead and describe all the little details and specs on this knife. I'm going to tell you what it's basically what I know based as like a random fisherman that grabbed the knife because he liked the way it looked and because he wanted a really good knife. I can tell you that right here on it, it says high carbon stainless steel. So pretty good. From what I've experienced, oh, just a little caution tip. Very, very sharp knife. I love this knife. It, it is, it, there's no joke. I, I can't find any faults with this knife. I'm trying to. Um, I don't know. The foam feels foamy. But I, I honestly, I, I don't know. It, it, it has perfect grip. You can hold it. It's perfect. It even has these little handles. You can slide your fingers, thumbs, whatever. It is sharp as all hell. I mean, it's unbelievable. I've been using this. It's, I've had this since, like I said, Christmas. And I've been cutting bait, filleting fish. It has not shown any sign of dullness at, at all. Um, usually other fillet knives between the 10 to $20 range, the first few uses they start to dull. That's why they include that little sharpener, fake little sharpener. Um, this one, I have not seen any sign of wear yet. All knives do wear. Don't fall for the trick. Oh, this is the knife will never fit. No, all knives fail. Just a matter of how long it takes. And so far, this one is proving to be one of the best knives I've had. When I'm filleting, I can grip, I can grab the bait. You saw one of the uh, videos I did earlier with the Bubba Blade. It's called Making Bait. I was just going through those mackerel like nothing. I'm slicing through them, bone and all. Fillets were, came out perfect. Rinse it right off. Nothing sticks on this. Nothing sticks at all. I've even left it and... and don't do this, but I've left it with some bait overnight, let it dry out, and the next day all I had to do was just run it under some hot water. The leftover fish guts or whatever just slid right off. Now I always wash my knives with like soap and water to make sure they stay clean. But if you do forget it like that, it first of all, it won't rust. It hasn't rusted yet. Um, I shouldn't say it won't. It hasn't rusted yet, and I feel like it's going to take quite a while before it shows any sign of aging. Second... That stuck on stuff came right off, and that's very important to me. Now, we've all talked about the sharpness, and it's pretty flexible too. It's a pretty flexible knife, so when you're getting in there and trying to get the fillets out the bone and everything, it's perfect. Just a little close up view of the knife right here. It comes with a nice little carrying case. There we go. The Bubba Blade, seven inch tapered flex. High carbon stainless steel. It says China, I don't care. So beautiful. I feel like a samurai with this. The price point on this, I gotta say, some people might think it's a bit high. Um, for the seven inch one, I at Walmart it's forty nine ninety nine. I'm sure it's a bit higher at other places. The nine inch one was fifty four ninety nine, I believe. It's worth every single penny. Like. I don't know. I don't know what else to say. It's, it's a pretty damn good knife. There. That's my review on it. I mean, what else is there to say? The, the, the material, the handle grip material is amazing. It's got that little honeycomb type deal or scales, whatever, whatever you want to call it. It's pretty cool. I like the red color. It sticks out. I like these little white handles. I like the black colored or the carbon colored blade it looks so cool i even like this little uh sheath that it comes with 
It's very, very high quality sheep. Um, like I say, it's a good job, Bubba Blade. And I've had my share of fair, my fair, bleh. It's like midnight, I'm recording this, I'm sorry guys. <laughs> I've had my fair share of fillet knives and the best one other than this, like before I've ever owned the, the magic of the bubble blade, um, the best one I could say was the Rapala one that I had and it was pretty decent for 20 bucks. Um, after several uses, it started to ding and nick and you'd have to use a little stupid sharp. Oh my god, I just got myself. Look at that, I just barely did it and there's a line right there. <laughs> but yeah, I just barely went like that and I got like a first layer of skin without even me trying. These are very sharp. <laughs> so do be careful, I do give a lot of warning and whatnot. Now, if you do wanna look at the information and all the technical specs and whatnot of Bubble Blade, has all that information on their website. I'll put a link in the description so you can go straight there. I'm not sponsored by Bubba Blade, nor endorsed or affiliated with them. I just like the product very, 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 very much. Um, I could say I'm a customer for life if these things break. I don't think they will. Um, kind of shot yourself there in the foot, huh, Bubba Blade? Making something that's very, very good that you guys can't sell anymore. <laughs> But I joke, I kid, these guys are amazing. Good job, Bubba Blade. Like, if you know, if, if viewers, if you want a rating, six out of five stars. Like I said, I cannot find a single fault with this knife. Awesome. This is OC from Cast and Destroy Angling. And do yourself a favor, pick yourself up one of these. It's worth every single penny. Go to Walmart, they're 50 bucks at Walmart, get the 7-inch one, or if you want the bigger one to take down bigger uh, game, the 9-inch one is perfect, it's only 5 bucks more. And now if you excuse me, I'm, uh, I'm going to go to sleep now. I feel like my eyeballs are going to pop out of my head. Thank you, and uh, don't forget to go to Montum. Um, they have amazing outdoor gear. Check it out if you're into hiking, trekking, or kayaking, anything like that. Anything that involves the outdoors, uh, check them out. They have really amazing deals. I will put the uh, link right here. Eh? No, this is just me joking around. This is some movie magic right here. Movie magic. I will have the real link in the description. And once you go to that link, type in, all in capital letters, L. And T10, all one word, and you'll get an extra 10% off off their amazing deals. Why? Because I am the ambassador and I say so. And since you guys are awesome and you follow me and you watch stuff that I do because I like to do silly things and waste people's time and you guys do enjoy that, thank you. I'm hooking you up with 10%. So with that said, everybody, thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, show your support. If you have any questions, comments, if you have any ideas to make this video better, please let me know. Um, the link's going to be in the description of everything, including Montum, Baba Blade, and my social media, how you can reach me, including Facebook and Instagram. Oh, and uh, Fishbrain. I'm, I'm on that. Fishbrain and occasionally sdfish.com. It's, it's, I'm still cast and destroy angling. You'll know me. Some goofy pictures of me. Anyways... Um, thanks again, folks. I really, really appreciate you guys watching. You guys really, really help me and motivate me to make these videos. Show your support. Like. Show your support. <laughs> this thing is beeping. Show your support. Like. Follow on my social media, on YouTube. Thanks again, guys. Um. My GoPro is acting weird. So, yeah, I got to look into that.